Alright, the selection dialog. It's not gonna be the selected item. It's going to be... List position that we have to pass in. So, parameter list position. Fine, copy it. If it's unit, we're gonna go to the unit list. Unit, get unit type, and the ID is going to be list position. There we go. Uh, then we can call get unit type here. So create one. Uh, get unit type, get unit type. Selection dialog, get unit type. Player ID, list position, we have stored here. So current position. For player, uh, we're going to do player zero at point selection dialog settings, 10 points, and 10 button, no options. And there we have an error. So, what did I do here? It's in uh, my get unit type. Oh, uh, get unit type hero ID parameter list position. There we go. Maybe if I didn't duplicate it down here as well. What's it complaining about now? Oh, you need a default value for this. So we have to put the return. If an error occur, I want to return what unit should I return? And sensory tower. Of course, I don't have vision over the entire map, so I cannot see those units. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go in here. Revealer. Create revealer. Area. Entire map. And we try again. Hey, there we go. SOE Marine Marauder. Okay. It's not removing the units, so a tiny bug there. Uh, let's check the update list. Last created units, that's wrong. Units in region matching condition. Any unit type region. Showcase any player, blah, 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 any amount. Just remove it. Try again. Can go. And there we can scroll through our units. Of course, there's nothing. Of course, the facing you want, might want to fix because they're rotating a bit weird right now. So. Uh, let's just fix it. Might as well. Unit, create unit, facing angle. Unit type was the function. Get unit type. Player ID, current position. Point. It's in here. The item points and the variable temp button and for player zero facing angle 270 I have no idea which direction that is ah that's fine that's the right angle of course it's playing the sound when they get removed here it seems but at least the scrolling is working I can pick the marauder 
uh, it seems to be slightly off. It might need a little bit of tweaking to make sure they're in the same position, but I think you get the general idea. Select the Marauder, and here comes the next type of unit. It's also a bit laggy, actually. Might just be me recording. Oh, no, it's not lagging. It was just when it was loading the units. So, yeah. This is a very simple example, but as you can see, you can make lists out of anything you want. Uh, you can display them as like you want. Just use your imagination. And now I have my hell in my seed tank over here. I can go attack the other units. Yay. Um, yeah, that's it. That's everything I had for this time. It has been a really, really long tutorial. So, um, hopefully someone takes the time to watch it all. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can post them as a comment, or better, even better, go to se2mapster.com and look in their forms, uh, post questions there, or go to their IRC channel. There's plenty of people willing to help you. And most likely they will respond a lot faster than me because I'm quite busy these days working on my own map. So yeah, that's it for this time. And until next time, have fun and good luck with your map making. <laughs>